a lot of the numbers that you will see, if you look at the numbers that Nick Foles put up in this game, were completely oh. hollow. They came when this game was completely decided. And I know, Rex, you have been pounding the table about that since they made this yeah, move. Yeah, I mean, you're right, Greeny. This is Blake Bortles all over again. He can't win a game. But, Ooh. I mean, Nick Foles, we said this. Look, he is a phenomenal backup quarterback. But I got news for you. He's not a starting quarterback. And how many times have we got to say it right here? And look, they can't run the football. They can't throw it. He can't move. And, and, and you know what, Matt Nagy, you guys benched a guy that was 3-0, and that you took over. Look, Matt Nagy was the, was the coach of the year. Right. Coach of the year because of the way Mitchell Trubisky played. And I can understand. That's why you want to get rid of him. For this guy, a backup, don't you understand? Apparently, you don't. There's a difference between a starting quarterback in the league and a backup in the league, and you're making a huge mistake by keeping this cat in there. Yeah, and, and that is one very interesting part of the Matt Nagy story. And, R.C., I know you have another part of the story about the coaching. Yeah, you know, Greeny, yesterday when I was watching the game, I kept scrolling on my phone and I kept going to Shefty because I wanted to see had the Bears facility been shut down for the week because that happens in 2020. And I figured they had to have Zoom walkthroughs the entire week in order to play this way. Listen, this team is totally inept. And you think about Matt Nagy and what he had in Mitchell Trubisky. He didn't want to change the offense for him. He didn't want to make sure he could succeed. So he says, you know what? I'm going to get my guy. I'm going to get Nick Foles. And now I can do the things that I need to to do and want to do with him. And we aren't seeing him have success either. We aren't seeing Matt Nagy put in the type of plays, put in the things schematically that allow Nick Foles to excel. So at some point, we have to look at this team and say, you know what, offensively, it's not just the player's fault. It's also on the head coach. It's also on the quarterback guru, on the guy that studied under Andy Reid. And here's what I know about Andy Reid. No matter who they had at quarterback, that dude played well. Mm -hmm. Kevin Cobb, Michael yep. Vick, Donovan McNabb, Alex Smith, all of those people. And that that's what the Chicago Bears thought that they were getting. But they've gotten the complete opposite. No matter what skill set you have, no matter how good you are, no matter how great our defense plays, I won't get a quarterback that can help us win a championship. And that's what we're seeing right now with this offense. Because when you have Robinson and Mooney and you have Jimmy Graham, some of these players that can make plays, you expect a better offense when the game actually matters. And we have not seen that from the Chicago Bears, and especially while they've had Nick Foles. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a very important for everyone to understand. There's a big difference between being a coach and being a teacher. A coach that cannot teach is a failure. A coach that doesn't know how to build relationships with their players is a failure. A coach that doesn't know how to communicate with their players is a failure. A coach that cannot adapt or change their scheme to the type of talent that they have is a failure. And right now, Matt Nagy in Chicago is a, a failure. Here. He can't do any of that stuff in Chicago. Stop. This is the offense that you wanted to run. This is the <sighs> offense that you wanted to run from Kansas City. It's not working. You don't know how to adjust to the talent yeah. that you have. I said it all the time on Chicago radio last year. Fit your offense to Mitchell Trubisky. Well, you didn't want to. So you went and got Nick Foles. And now you don't have an offense that will work for Nick Foles. This is like a marriage. When you try to change your spouse to exactly what you want, it's going to end up bad. And you're trying to change all your players <laughs> to exactly what you want because it's the only thing that you know in Chicago. And now this is headed for a divorce. Matt Nagy, as a coach in the NFL, is a failure because he can't teach. It is actually a full organizational failure because he took over. They hired him knowing who the quarterback was. They drafted him. They did all the things they did, traded up to take him ahead of who everybody knows who they took him ahead of. And, and they hired this coach knowing who the quarterback was. So he have to have told someone, yes, I have an offense that can make this kid work, and they just won't do it for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, no, they want I, I mean, does he have mobility? If you just look on paper, check. Mitch yeah. Trubisky has ability. The, the, can he throw the football? Check. Yes, he can. Like, to me, he did all those things. He did, he his, he did it their first and, year together. Yeah, he makes coach of the year. And here's the thing. They're ruining what I think is the most talented defense in the National Football yeah. League. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not and saying they're big. playing the best. But I believe they're the most talented, and they're ruining it with this offense. Yeah. Uh, there were so many numbers that jump out yesterday. Tennessee has the worst third-down defense in the entire NFL. The Bears went 3-for-15 against that defense on third-down yesterday. It was 
impossible. They're the second worst scoring offense in the NFL. Second worst over two years. No. That's a body of work. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.